Hello folks, this is 2009 October November paper 2 2 and the question number is 6. It is concerned with uh, current electricity. So it says that uh, two resistors, each of resistance R, are connected first in series and then in parallel. Show that the ratio of uh, combined resistance of resistors in series by uh, the resistors in parallel equal to 4. So when in series, when in series, the two resistors will give us R is equal to R plus R. They simply add, which is equal to 2R. And when in parallel, when in parallel, the two resistors uh, give, it is RP is equal to R into R by R plus R. It comes from the formula, RP is equal to R1, R2 by R1 plus R2. So this gives us, it is R square by 2R which will be equal to, this uh, goes R by 2. So the ratio will be equal to uh, Rs by Rp will be equal to 2R divided R by 2 and that's equal to RR gone, so it is equal to 4 is to 1. So ratio is equal to 4 is to 1 or 4. Now in question number B, uh, we have a graph here, diagram. The variation which potential difference V of the current I in a lamp is as shown in this figure. So what it shows is uh, V in the x-axis, I in the y-axis and as the value of PD increases, the graph inclines more and more towards the voltage. So that means uh, uh, V increases rapidly but uh, I increases less rapidly compared to V. So with this diagram, we have to find, calculate the resistance of the lamp of the lamp for a PD across the lamp of 1.5 volt. So you have to find its resistance when PD is equal to 1.5. So from here, this is 1.5. From here, it goes to 0 0.1. So at V equal to 1.5 volt, current is equal to, is equal to, from here, here, it is 0 0.10 ampere. 0 0.10 ampere. So this gives us R is equal to V by I. It's equal to 1.5 by 0 0.1 and that's equal to that's equal that's equal to 15 ohm so the value of resistance is equal to 15 ohm which I can write here as 15 ohm now two lamps each having the IV characteristics uh, shown in figure 6.1 so this uh, figure I can fold it like this so that uh, it is visible when we deal with uh, things of this piece also so this is that uh, uh, figure so uh, are connected first in series and then in parallel with a battery of emf 3.0 volt and a negligible inner resistance so complete the table of this this uh, the battery so what it says is we have to connect this uh, uh, this uh, lamp uh, like this first across series so it should be like this so this is the power source this is the lamp here lamp one and the lamp two like this this is a series and the parallel one will be equal to uh, it's like this so this is a one lamp here like this and another lamp here like this so this is a 3.0 volt and this is 3.0 volt so it means that when the lamps are occurring in series the PD will be divided since they have identical characteristics we have the PD across each will be equal to so if it is R and if it is R, this V will be equal to R by R plus R into 3.0 equal to, this is half, so it is 1.5 volt. So across each of lamp, the voltage will be 1.5 volt in this case. But in parallel, what happens is, the PD here uh, is common to both of them and it's equal to 3.0 volt. So it is 3.0 volt, which is the property of parallel combination. Now, the resistance of uh, uh, each lamp uh, ohm so 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 here now what you have to do is, here they are getting 1.5 volt 1.5 volt so 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 the resistance will be equal to at 1.5 the current was like this and resistance was 15 ohm as we have done previously so in this case it is 15 ohm but here in this case is not true because the pd across both of these things is equal to 20 volt sorry uh, it is 3 volt so at 3 volt what happens is at 3 volt current is 0 0.15 ampere so at 3 volt current is this so that means r is equal to 
3.0 by 0 0.15 and that's equal to that's equal to, that's equal, to equal to 20 ohm so when lamps are connected in parallel like this the resistance of both of them will be equal to 20 ohm each so now the common resistance will be equal to this is 15 15 plus 15 in series in series it will be 30 ohm 30 ohm and here it is 20 ohm 20 ohm in parallel it will be half because when resistances are equal and connected in parallel that will be half so it's equal to 10 ohm now in the last question use data from uh, completed figure 6.2 to calculate the ratio combination resist combined resistance of lamps connected in series this to combined resistance of lamps connected in parallel so if the ratio is equal to ratio is equal to 30 by 10 equal to 3 by 1 so it's equal to 3 is to 1 now what the question demands is the ratios in a which is 4 is to 1 4 is to 1 and here d1 3 1 are not equal are not equal so by reference to figure 6.1 6.1 Send explain qualitatively the change in the resistance of a lamp as the PD is increased So from here what we have to do is we have to explain explain The change in the resistance as the PD increases from 0 to 3 volt So what happens here is uh, as a PD increases PD increases increases uh, Current increases definitely current increases increases and uh, this means that uh, uh, the the resistance the lamp lamp gets hot gets uh, hot because of because of because of because of change of temperature change of temperature temperature so with the change actually it is increase of temperature actually it increase of temperature so as uh, it increases this causes this causes 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 uh, more more collisions more collisions and so increase in resistance increase in resistance so now what happens is what happens is we have r equal to v by i so that means v will increase more and i will increase less as it goes higher v will increase more so v will increase more but this i will increase less so the graph is graph is inclining towards voltage 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 and so on so that means so v increases more increases more but but i increases increases less and it is the property of the filament of lamps they don't follow ohms law exactly and uh, you have to de deal with this thing in the regular course as well not only in the questions it is in the courses, your own regular course as well.